Welcome to the I Seen That Podcast. Ooh, ooh. <laughs> I hate that. I really don't like I that. I seen that. <laughs> I I don't know. I I don't know. Should we have an intro or should we just just go? Just start. Um Yes. Thank you. There's so much it's so much help on this show. Uh, I'd like to kick back and let you take the Take the lead. Taylor and Alan talking about movies. They may be best friends, but they always disagree. Taylor and Alan. I seen that. This week, I think since the last time I talked to you at least, there's been a few new trailers that have come out. Yeah. And the two that I wanted to talk about specifically was the solo trailer and the infinity uh-huh. war trailer have you seen them yet yes i have what is your opinion of the han solo trailer um <clears throat> of the trailer uh, i don't know it kind of looks boring yeah that was my opinion i was just like this it looks like generic star wars it does and it just so seemed maybe they're boring. they're hiding all the good stuff i don't know i I doubt it because I don't feel like anyone does that anymore. Yeah. Yeah. But, I, I don't know. Maybe uh, they're trying because, I, I mean, that's a, been a big complaint is showing off too much stuff in trailers. I hate that so much. But then you have a trailer like this that if that is the case, I don't care to go see this movie at all right now. Oh, like, yeah. If if all of that was the exciting stuff, that movie's going to suck. <laughs> yeah. Like, I'm not excited for it at all. I'll probably see it. One, because we'll probably talk about it. But two... Just, right. I feel like I'm stuck in we're, quicksand we're where I have invested. to watch it. Yeah. Yeah. So before Rogue One came out, did you want to see it? Solo? No, Rogue One. Um, Yeah, I think so. Because I feel like this is going to be along those lines and you're going to like it more than regular Star Wars movie. I don't think so. I, I think no? I, I think this is going to be one of my least favorite ones. Oh. Uh, partly because... Han Solo has so much history already, so they're gonna there. There's gonna be so many things that are like, "Hey, you remember this thing about Han Solo? Here it is. Yeah, remember that thing? Oh, here it is. Remember these dice that have randomly shown up a couple times? They're gonna be super important. Like, yeah, just a bu- is it just gonna be a bunch of dumb stuff that's like jammed down your throat? And I don't think it's gonna be great. What do you think Amelia Clark's role is going to be? <laughs> I I don't know. Um, I was kind of surprised to see her in it. I don't think she's that great of an actress, at least in uh, um, the latest Terminator movie. I thought she. I never saw that one. She seemed really out of place. Hmm. I get the feeling that she, well, I mean, obviously not that this is like a huge shot in the dark. She's going to be the love interest, right? And yeah. then. She's either going to die or betray Han Solo, and that's why he becomes so cynical. Yeah, well, that was the other thing, is he does not seem cynical. He seems very hopeful in this trailer. Right, and and, I, and I'm fine with that. I'm fine with him changing into the Han Solo that we know. I just don't need to see him change into that. Like, I'm I'm content with him already. Like, right. you, like I think there's... I think there's something to say, something to be said about having a character that you don't know every single thing about him. Like you, you see Han Solo, he shows up and he's like kind of old and bitter and frustrated with everything. Well, I guess he's not really old in the beginning, but you know, like he's just kind of this jaded guy who doesn't believe in anything and doesn't trust anyone. And it's like, okay, yeah, no, I got it. And his story arc is going from that to being more hopeful and believing in a cause and like getting involved. So it's going to be this like almost like a W arc for his entire story of like, he's right. ho- hopeful and jaded and then hopeful. And you know what I mean? Like just a strange way to go about it. Yeah. Um, I don't know. I mean, I'll see it. I, I I'm not going to get my hopes up, but maybe it'll be good. Yeah. Well, what do you think? Try of- to go into it with an open mind. Nope. Close your mind. Shut it down. It's closing out. Dang Shut it. it down. What did you think of the Infinity War trailer? 
Oh man, that one. I I don't. I couldn't tell you what is happening in that movie. There's so much going on. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. I was like, man, this is is this going to be a three hour long movie? Because just I feel like it almost would have to just to fit all the characters in. Well, not even the characters, but just all the sets. Like you see all the they're fighting on all seven continents. Yeah, and different worlds and in space. Like it just to fit in all the locations that they're going to be at in this movie seems like it's going to be overloaded. Um, I, I'm I'm curious to see how a lot of these characters interact with each other. Who do you, um, who do you think is going to die in Infinity War? Uh, I want to say Iron Man. Yeah, I. But I also want to say Captain. Yeah, I think uh, Peppa. Oh my goodness, Pepper. <laughs> I, don't, <laughs> I, don't, I, I thought about it so hard before I said it. It's like, one of those things that it gets in your head that you're convinced that you're going to say it right this time and not right. Never mind. Yeah. I don't no, even know what no, I'm exactly. about. No, exactly. You I know was, what I'm saying. <laughs> I was thinking about it. I was like, okay, say it right. Say it right. Say it right. Pepper is not a name. It must be Peppa. Say Peppa. And I was very <laughs> wrong. Again. Pepper Pig. <laughs> Pepper Pig. Oh, man. My mic is peaking. All my peas uh, are popping. <laughs> Um, <clears throat> the peas are popping like Peppa Pig. <laughs> Peppa Pig is a tough word to have without a Pepper a, Pig. A pepper windscreen. Potts. Uh, pepper Potts. I I think she's gonna be Put in this. The potato. And oh, I think sure she's she gonna die. You think so? I think so. I um, think if Iron Man doesn't die, then it'll be either her or Don Cheadle. I don't think Don Cheadle's gonna die. No. I don't know. Um, overall, my if 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 someone big is gonna die, I wager Iron Man, and then Captain, but I th- not both. I don't. Yeah, I don't think both. I think, I think Iron Man is going to survive. I think Pepper Potts is gonna die. Um, uh-huh. like, I mean, it's it's really been his franchise, right? Like the entire thing has been Tony Stark, right? The Tony Stark show? Yeah. Like, the Avengers movies have basically been other Iron Man movies. Civil War, I mean, was definitely Captain America's movie, but couldn't have done it without Tony Stark. Like, I I don't think they're going to kill him in this one. They might. I think it'd be an interesting choice. But oh, I think- I, okay. I guess I guess when I say that, I mean but as Infinity War as a whole. The second, so also maybe the not- second movie? Yes. Gotcha. Like by the time these two movies are over, I I don't know. I think, hmm. I I could see someone big dying in the first one and then also in the second one. Oh yeah, no, I think so. I think there's gonna be multiple people die that in this next one. They have to just the the sheer amount of people. Yeah. I could see. Uh, I could, honestly, I could see uh, Hulk dying. Yeah, I I mean, it's definitely there's probably going to be at least two people out of phase 1 that die. Right. I I I wouldn't be surprised if one of the Guardians of the Galaxy dies and then that becomes a storyline in the third movie, you know, that carries over. Yeah. Um well, who do you want to see die? Maybe that's more an an interesting question. Who would you like to see die? Hmm. I think it would be cool if they did this uh, random death scene of uh, oh, Stanley. I couldn't think of his name. <laughs> Just his cameo. His, I, there's no way yeah. that would happen because. Uh, no, of course not. <laughs> he uh, he almost had that actually happen in real life just recently. Yeah. Did you know that they've actually recorded most of his future cameos already? Oh, that's weird. Well, it was uh, in case he did die, he could still be in the movies. Yeah, that's weird. <laughs> Isn't that weird? It's interesting. Would if if it were you, would you want to pre-record stuff so in case you died that you could still be in a movie? Yeah, ain't no one recasting me. No, I would rather be a hologram. <laughs> 
Yeah, I don't know. I think I'd rather just not be in them. I'd be like, you know what? If I'm dead, I'm done. No more, no more cameos. Okay, so if I had to pick someone that I want, <sighs> yeah, who who's your number I would one say, on your death wish list, and who do you not want to die? Uh, okay, so I would say number one, I'm gonna have to say Iron Man, not because I don't like him, but because I think that would be huge most, most for the franchise. Yeah, it would be super compelling. Um. I don't want to see, like, I got to, someone has to die. Like, that's just the reality of it. Yeah. And these, you know, side characters, they, they, they're not going to cut it. Like, Coulson's not going to cut it. And I don't know. I, I think that would be the most compelling for the story. Yeah. I think to die, I would like to see... Hmm. Probably Iron Man. You're probably right. I don't think it's going to happen though. But I think that think so? would be not not in the first one. No, uh, maybe not in the first one. But I think I, by the end of Infinity War. Well, I think he's going to end gone. up sacrificing himself in the next one. Yeah, that could be too. Um Uh I wouldn't mind seeing Doctor Strange die just cuz I find him really annoying. I don't mind Doctor Strange. And then um, t- to survive, the most important person to survive, uh, probably Spider-Man. Oh, well, yeah. That's almost a given, though, right? Yeah. Because mm-hmm. we know that he has a future, so he's pretty safe. Yeah, maybe. It'd be interesting if they didn't, though, if they just killed him off in the first five minutes. He gets on that and they, big spinning orb and it just chews him up. And they never actually do with Spider-Man 2. Yeah. <laughs> it was all just a ploy. It's just without him. It's just the school. Yeah. <laughs> just turns um, into Degrassi. Right. But they could have someone try to take up his uh, his helm. Yeah. Miles Morales. Like uh, Miles Morales. Yeah. Um, I don't know. I, I think if I had to pick one person that I didn't want to die, it would probably be Captain. But but also at the same time, if he did, it would also be compelling. So yeah. What do you? What's your opinion of them having this trailer coming out before Black Panther is coming out, and Black Panther being in the yeah. trailer? It's weird, right? That was my first thought. Was well, I guess he doesn't die in that movie. Not that I <laughs> thought he might, but yeah. I mean, it's 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 a safe bet he's not going to die in his own movie, but. It also kind of, I don't know, it takes away a lot of the tension when you know. Oh, for sure it does. Like, when you know that they're safe. I mean, unless everything in Black Panther fails. Takes place. No, like he, uh, you know, like it's a big battle for Wakanda is the idea. And then uh, yeah. they just lose and they get, you know, ostracized from their community. That might be kind of interesting. Oh, okay. Well, yeah, I can see that. Like that. Because then him being in Infinity War wouldn't really spoil the ending. But if it's just everything That's works true. out, then it's like, well, you kind of spoil He that could by. be the only person who lives after Black Panther. That's why they showed him. Yeah, maybe. But uh, To be honest, I, I don't really know what Black Panther is about, but I kind of like it like that. So I have no expectations. Yeah, I'm a little bit more excited for it now that it's coming out this week. But Yeah, uh, I'm going to go see it on Friday. Are you? I haven't been interested in it at all, building up to it. Yeah, um, yeah like I said, I don't even really know what it's about. <laughs> so yeah. I'm okay with that. Well, so on Patreon, we are... Well, you are currently Marshall. winning... It's thirty two to thirty three. And uh yeah. do I have the disadvantage this month, right? Is it you? Or mm, I thought it was me. Oh, I hope it's you. That'd be nice. 
Yes. Uh, let's see. So I had it when it came towards uh, the leg waxing. Then you had it for the chili pepper. Oh, yeah. Then yes. I had it for the gummy or the jelly beans. beans. So you have it for the mustache. Right. So I just need one oh, vote. That's going to be rough. Yeah. Right now, I just need one extra vote. I'm, if you are listening I'm to I'm terrified because I you know would like that to that's, ruin, you've probably already got one waiting in the wings. If you would like to ruin Taylor's month, you can vote for Alan over on Patreon. Possibly my whole life. You think one month of a mustache would ruin your entire life? I think one day. <laughs> it's, it's a possibility, I guess. What are you worried about? What do you think is going to happen? Uh, honestly, I really, I have no idea. I don't know if I'm going to like warn people ahead of time. <laughs> you shouldn't. Or I, I don't, I, yeah, I, I don't know. Are Just we, show up. are we going to live stream, uh, shaving it? Uh, no, no, probably not. <laughs> Since I'll probably do it in the shower. Ugh, yeah. Don't live stream that. Maybe I will. That's your punishment. <laughs> um, speaking of Patreon, though, we have two episodes coming out this week for our Patreon. Because so every episode comes out two weeks early over on Patreon. So this yeah. week it is Get Out and Punisher, the 2004 Punisher, Thomas Jane. Noise. And then uh, just our normal, just the. Normal podcast episodes. We have Zootopia and Bright with nitpicks. Classics. Those are the same movie. <laughs> Pretty much. But uh, yeah, so you can go over to patreon.com slash I seen that. Uh, and for a dollar, you can vote for me or Taylor. And uh, you'll get access to all our episodes two weeks in advance. Follow us on Twitter at I seen that pod. Like us on Facebook. And uh, we want to thank our sponsors, Boss Play, which is a Woo-woo. escape room in Oceanside, California. Yes. And we will be back in a couple days.